In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that, relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said, Let the waters teem with living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth within the vault of heaven. And so it was. God created great sea serpents and every kind of living creature with which the waters teem, and every kind of winged creature. God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, multiply, and fill the waters of the seas, and let the birds multiply upon the earth. Evening came and morning came, the fifth day. God said, Let the earth produce every kind of living creature, cattle, reptiles, and every kind of wild beast. And so it was. God made every kind of wild beast, every kind of cattle, and every kind of land reptile. God saw that it was good. God said, Let us make man in our own image, in the likeness of ourselves, and let them be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, the cattle, all the wild beasts, and all the reptiles that crawl upon the earth. God created man in the image of himself. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying to them, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and conquer it. Be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, and all living animals on the earth. God said, See, I give you all the seed-bearing plants that are upon the whole earth, and all the trees with seed-bearing fruit. This shall be your food. To all wild beasts, all birds of heaven, and all living reptiles on the earth, I give all the foliage of plants for food. And so it was. God saw all he had made, and indeed it was very good. Evening came and morning came, the sixth day. Thus heaven and earth were completed with all their array. On the seventh day, God completed the work he had been doing. He rested on the seventh day after all the work he had been doing. God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on that day he had rested after all his work of creating. Such were the origins of heaven and earth when they were created. The Word of the Lord How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth! When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him? How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth! Yet you have made him little less than a god, with glory and honour you crowned him gave him power over the works of your hand, put all things under his feet. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth! All of them, sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, 
through all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Train me, Lord, to observe your law, to keep it with my heart. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come to Jerusalem gathered round Jesus, and they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with unclean hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and the Jews in general follow the tradition of the elders and never eat without washing their arms as far as the elbow. And on returning from the marketplace, they never eat without first sprinkling themselves. There are also many other observances which have been handed down to them concerning the washing of cups and pots and bronze dishes. So these Pharisees and scribes ask him, Why do your disciples not respect the tradition of the elders, but eat their food with unclean hands? He answered, It was of you hypocrites that Isaiah so rightly prophesied in this passage of Scripture. This people honours me only with lip service, while their hearts are far from me. The worship they offer me is worthless. The doctrines they teach are only human regulations. You put aside the commandment of God to cling to human traditions. And he said to them, How ingeniously you get round the commandment of God in order to preserve your own tradition. For Moses said, Do your duty to your father and your mother, and anyone who curses father or mother must be put to death. But you say, if a man says to his father or mother, anything I have that I might have used to help you is korban, that is, dedicated to God, then he is forbidden from that moment to do anything for his father or mother. In this way, you make God's word null and void for the sake of your tradition which you have handed down, and you do many other things like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, the readings for today at first seem unrelated. The point seemed obscured, going from the beautiful story of creation, starting with the fifth day to praising God for creation, to Jesus reprimanding some of the Pharisees for their hypocrisy. It seemed jarring somehow, don't you think? I struggle with the deeper meaning hidden within. But after the more I reflected on the beauty of the first reading for today, the way God created humankind in his own image and likeness, his divine image, and entrusted and the abundance of his creation to humankind seemed to elevate humankind. We, my brothers and sisters, are trusted by God. God has made us little less than the angels, and we are crowned with glory and honor. Our awesome responsibility towards all creation may seem like a heavy burden, yet we are trusted by God. And my response to this trust seems like 
Who? Why me? And yet, yes, you and me. In today's gospel, dear brothers and sisters, where the Pharisees called out some of the Jesus' disciples for not following the tradition of hand washing before meals and gave Jesus this opportunity to shine a light on the deeper and wider issue, which are, do we follow laws, human traditions, and disregard the heart of the matter? Do we listen to God with the ear of the heart? Do we respond with love and trust to his word, his creation, his trust in us? Let us ponder these questions together with the psalmist, which sings beautifully, How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>